guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Becky, your sketching pal from Hong Kong and I'm here after work just aiming to catch that last last bit of sunlight and we're just going to do a little sketch. So today we are at this mall, it's called Elements, it's a mall slash residential area. That used to be my office right there so now I can come here worry free. Um, and we just see a lot of people, a lot of kids going around, like kids are kind of just chilling in the park, like, you know, before dinner time, so they're just playing outside. Um, a lot of working people as well at the bars down there, which is actually what attracted me to this place to begin with. Uh, because when I first came, and I'm currently recording this talking part like after I sketch, when I first came, the sun was actually shining really strongly and I caught like really beautiful light. So I'm just gonna insert a picture of what I'm gonna sketch right here. But yeah, now the sun is kind of gone, but we're left with this like really, really beautiful sunlight. And I kind of just want to show you a little bit about what Hong Kong looks like in golden hour. And this is not even in its peak, but you know, just gotta, just want to show it off a little bit and kind of brag a little bit. And I just want to see what I can capture. So the scene that we are sketching today, actually the people might have already left. It's right down there. Um, it's a couple of people at the bar and the sun was hitting them quite nicely. I thought it would be really nice to have some like warm, cool color kind of going on because it was quite a contrasting situation. Um, so there are four people that I drew in. I did not draw any of their facial features though because I just thought like it's too complicated and my sketch is too small. I'm literally using like an A6 size notebook, which I think if you're in a weird part of the world, sorry, the metric system rules. Um, but I think it's a 3.5 times 5 inches kind of notebook. I think that's a conventional pocket size. It's the one from Etcher. I've been really liking it because I'm just going back to my 100% cotton kind of days. But yeah, I didn't want to sketch um, faces because they're too small. So I just thought I would stick to some color notes, you know, warm and cool, warm and cool. Um, so for some people, uh, you might notice later in the video, there will be like a warm like light on the back and then some really cool shadows on the front of the shirt and that's the kind of stuff that I wanted to focus on or what I decided to uh, focus on when I wanted to capture that um, that painting all right what else is there um I don't know what else there is to say so let's just go into the sketch welcome back to a speedy sketch session and the reason why we are hurrying today is because if you've ever tried to capture a sunrise or a sunset scene before, the golden hour doesn't last very long and the shadows don't last long either. And that's actually the case. So um, knowing that this might happen, I did snap a photo with the camera and that is largely what you see here in the uh, picture in picture portrait of the scene, if you will of the whole thing so by the time i finished sketching everything and all the shapes um the shadow was gone but i can kind of reimagine where the light was hitting and it's kind of well it's not easy but it's kind of um more predictable where the warm light and the cool shadows are uh, because it was such a sharp sort of take on the light and there was a real big contrast between the two like light planes and shadow planes. And I just remember it very vividly, but also thank you iPhone camera for actually capturing the whole scene for me to reference. So I decided that I would just start off with a pencil drawing first to capture the scene. And that's mainly the people as well as the little bush that's below the tree and also the folded umbrella. And because everyone else was in full shade, uh, because their umbrellas were open and because these group of guys had their umbrella closed, that's why the shadows could be so strong. In another universe, I would have captured all the other tables as well, but this time I just wanted to practice my light and shadow and the warms and cools that come with it. So I really wasn't trying to capture the whole scene. In fact, I captured these group of guys and their beer and their um, business suits pretty much in isolation. And it's kind of like a repeating trend, I guess, for the sketchbook, uh, because for the past couple of pages, I did um, do a scene in isolation instead of trying to fill in the whole page. And this is something new that I'm trying, but it allows me to have a more focused 
practice sketch session instead of me trying to focus on one thing but then eventually getting distracted by everything else in the background and of course this is a sketch so it's not really a final product and eventually i probably will have to learn how to do um stuff in the background that doesn't take away the focus from the main focal point but you know given the limited amount of time that i have i thought i would just stick to the focal point to begin with and also something i'm practicing a lot in my sketch is how to imagine things in a 2d space so how do i see a table as like not a table but just four lines as how i see it and that has helped me a lot figure things out in perspective because what i find is like my brain is always trying to trick me like it's always trying to force me to see a chair in like a front straight front angle or like directly from the side or like exactly 90 degrees but often we don't see things in like perfect perspective so um i'm not sure if it's too obvious but for example these um beer glasses like i know that they are a uh, diagonally available uh put down or position on the table but in the sketch the two beer glasses are directly on top of each other and also uh, maybe a better example would be the guy that's right below the umbrella like i know in real life the umbrella is to the side of these men but in this sketch the umbrella was right on top of this guy so this is something that i try to um keep in mind while i was doing this sketch and i gotta say that actually the uh the sketch turned out a little bit better than i thought it would in perspective and although the shadows that i saw were not as strong anymore but i managed to put in those little touches of shadow at the bottom and i am quite happy with how this turned out This relates more to my previous video, but this is how I am carrying my plotter. Um, just using this canvas case. I don't even know if it's canvas actually, just using this really thin case. I don't know if it's gonna last, but you know, I'm just gonna protect this baby as best as I can. Alright, that is going to be it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much again for watching another video. I hope to catch you here next time. And in the meantime, where's your favorite place to catch the golden hour? That's a uh, great way to put it and do you catch it on your way back home do you catch it daily or do you have to go someplace special to see it all right i'm gonna leave you with that and i'll catch y'all next week bye